Oh, yeah. Another nice one here if I can land it. Oh man. Woo! Here's another one. Nice way to start. Oh man, let's get him out of here. Question is, will this one beat the one I caught the other day? about to find out about to find out oh man all right people let's see what he goes here this one here All right, people. All right, folks. Not a bad one. He's a little over 16 inches. A little over 16 inches, man. He's fat, too. He didn't beat the one other day, people. But I'm happy to land him here. Let's let him go. Oh, man. Whew. Another nice smallmouth. Welcome everyone. You are River Fishing with Frank here this afternoon. Today is Thursday. It's April the 21st and it's about four o'clock when I caught that smallmouth. It went over a little over 16 inch smallmouth. So that's a very, very good smallmouth. Not as big as the one I caught the other day was, which was about 18 inches. That still nonetheless was a good smallmouth. And we'll show you guys right here where I caught him. I'm just working my way up the bank along the bank here on the Tug Fork River. He was caught about right in there. As you can see, I've waded up through here. That's the first bite I've had. I've tried a couple different lures, but uh, just tied that yum dinger on and he absolutely inhaled it. So uh, nice way to start. I've actually probably my first fish on the Tug Fork River. And again, I'm right here in Mingo County, 
just outside or basically in Williamson, West Virginia. But anyways, let's get our line back out there and just see if we can't catch another one. Guys, I'm gonna make a few more casts in there, but I'm gonna show you what I'm using here, what I caught him on. That's a four inch watermelon red flake yumdinger. I've got a Texas rig there and I'm using it weightless. I've got six pound test. I'd lost a swim bait. I just got it hung up and decided to throw something different on there. So I threw this yumdinger on there, running it weedless. And I'm just gonna work this bank up and down a little bit more just see if we can't hook another one even though these are weightless or i'm using it weightless you can still cast these four inch yum dingers out pretty good i just mainly let them fall use a slow retrieve a lot of times that's when they hit it this river here don't think you can wade hardly any of it it's too deep but uh i'm just going to kind of cover some ground here i've seen a few kayakers down below me here when I first got in. I'm gonna make my way back to that first spot and try this yum dinger down there. I tried my swim bait down there. I end up getting hung up and losing the swim bait. So I figured I'd stick this yum dinger on here and just run it weedless. There's a lot of debris in this river, a lot of things to get hung on. So I threw that yum dinger on there and it probably wasn't five maybe ten minutes caught that fish that's another reason why I like bringing that net that's what I bought it for I like carrying it on me because you just never know what you're gonna hook into I've lost several nice fish if I'd have had a net I would have probably landed them but uh, just like that fish here when I initially hooked it I thought it was probably bigger than that one I hooked the other day but 16 inches is not a bad small mouth you can see it had pretty good bit of weight to it but uh, just trying to get in the habit of always carrying that net with me. Because I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it and end up losing a big fish. It will definitely happen. It's happened to me several times, but uh, just invested in a good little net there for specifically really for wading it's not a real big net but it's just perfect for what I do because I hate when that big one gets away man I don't like forgetting my net if we don't end up with any more we at least ended up with one nice small mouth again I'm getting ready to head down just below me here you can see where the water drops off nice little hole of water down there. I'm going to try with this Helger mite see if we can't hook something down there. Looks like we catch one in here, man. I know they're in here, just questions will they bite. We know that one while ago did. A little over 16 inches, man. Nice small mouth. the only bite I've had too. Well guys, it looks like it's just gonna be the one smallmouth for today. I fished about an hour and a half. I had to work earlier today, so when I got off work, I figured I'd just come down here to the Tug Fork River, try it out. I've never been down here. So with a little over an hour's fishing, catching that one 16 inch bass, I guess that's not too bad. Definitely didn't catch the quantity, but we did catch that one nice smallmouth. But overall, that's kind of how my spring bass fishing as when I've caught one here, I've caught one there. I thought after a warm night, it was about 55 last night and in the low 70s today, I'd give it a try down here. And we did luck out and catch one on the Yum Dinger. But again, it's been a tough spring. So over the last couple of weeks, we've, we've fished several different places. I've even been over at Chief Logan Pond, uh, caught a nice bass over there. My wife caught a decent bass down to East Lynn Tailwaters. And I even caught another one there on the spruce river where i live so i thought before i'd leave i'd let you check some of that action out again it's just over the last couple of weeks hope you're enjoying it again thanks for watching
Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's not a trout. It is definitely not a trout. Alright people. 13 inch largemouth. Look at that. We coming for trout. Here's what we end up catching. 13 inch largemouth. Here at Chief Logan, man. Bye little fella. And he hit just right off the bank right over there. Not bad. Uh-oh, Nicole's got one. That's okay. I believe so. Oh, look at that. All right. Look at that. Nicole lands one. Where'd you catch him out of these rocks over here? Let's let this little feller back in the water here. Well, well, well. There was one over there. Uh. All right, man. It's got the skunk out of the way. There he is, a little smallmouth. I'd say about 10 inches long. Come on, little fella. Back he goes. All right. <laughs> wow. Wasn't expecting that. I was just disappointed I hadn't got a hit and right there before I reeled it in. This little six inch smallmouth bit the old Helger mite. That is the first fish here on this little trip. All right, we got us a fish here. Come on in, little fella. Come on in. All right. Let's see what we got here. There he is. Nice little smallmouth here. We caught him on the Spruce River here on that four inch. Yum dinger, right here, what we caught him on. Hey guys, it's about 5.30 Friday, April 22nd. I'm out here on the Spruce River and that was a smallmouth. I've had a couple little ones get off. I started out with the uh, watermelon red flake, uh, Helgramite, and really didn't do any good on it. So um, I've been fishing for about 45 minutes here. Again, it's about 5.30, so I figure I just Switched to something different. I put the four inch yum dinger on there and landed that bass. But anyway, it's what I caught that big bass down in the Tug Fork River on. So uh, I'm gonna continue. I'm just gonna keep with it. I landed that in about five minutes at the switch and bait. So I'm gonna head up on the Spruce River here and just see if we can't catch some more. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of like yesterday. I threw a couple different things at him. Fish probably at least 45 minutes. No good. Figured I'd try something different. I put that yum dinger on. 
Landed one yesterday, 16 inches, down on the Tug Fork River in Williamson. And uh, I've been fishing here in the Spruce River probably for well, at least 45 minutes with almost no action, with the exception of a couple little ones there that were right in front of me. But I uh, figured I'd try something different, put a yum dinger on there, this watermelon red plate. It didn't take 10 minutes to catch that bass, so I'm hoping we catch a few more. I don't know if it's the color. I don't know if it's the worm itself. There may not be nothing to it. But they're catching fish when other things are not catching fish, so you just got to try different things. I think it's four inch. Yeah, I'm dinger will attract a little bit bigger fish. Is what I'm thinking. That's what happened yesterday. Caught a pretty decent one. That one there wasn't no trophy, but it was a little bit bigger than the two that I'd hooked on that helger mite. I mean, you're gonna catch a lot of little ones, but uh, this will bring the bigger fish out. These bigger baits will. And uh, I've caught a couple nice smallmouth this spring. Actually, one was on the Helger mite and one was on the Yum Dinger, so, so far it's a tie. Sometimes using this weightless, weightless is a little difficult, especially when the water's up a little bit. Wish it'd sink a little bit more. Maybe I'm reeling too fast, but uh, water is up a little bit. The water's up in the guy and dot. Can't really much fish yet. My best option was to come here to Spruce River, and that's what I'm doing. We're gonna have a few Warm days of weather. I'm hoping that'll bring them out. They should be getting more active. We're gonna have about four 80 degree days in a row, so that ought to wake them up. This looks like a nice place for one. It? This looks like a real nice place for one. Come on, little fella. All right. Finally, number two, and off with the yum dinger. We just had landed him. Without that net, we probably wouldn't have. All right, guys, it's about 12 and a half inches. About a 12 and a half inch smiley here on the Spruce River. I finally caught number two. He's pretty, pretty smallmouth, just shy, just shy of 13 inches. Caught him on that yum dinger. All right, take off, little fella. Maybe we'll catch you again one day. Take off for me. He's going. There he goes.